Hey everybody, Rebels of Cloud9 here. Welcome to my review, a very short review, of Revel Aqua Color. This is the first time I've ever owned any of these paints. I cannot get them in Canada and I am so excited. I am so excited to finally have these in my hand that I can test these out. Uh, my sister went to Germany on holiday last year and I begged her to please keep an eye out for these paints because I really, really wanted to try these out. I've heard a lot of great stuff about them, but I've never got to experience it for myself. I don't know if anyone in Canada uh, imports these, which is, uh, I think, might be a shame. Let's see at the end of it these, uh, these, how great these paints might be. Because um, like, like I said, I've heard a lot of great stuff about them and I've always wanted to try them out. And now I've got a batch. I've got a small batch of them right here. I bought five of them. They came over from the UK. They were about $4 um, per little cube here. Um, not bad at all. I'm not, I'm not complaining about the price at all. So these are the colors I bought. I bought a Lufthansa Blue. This is for a couple upcoming projects. Uh, well, technically they all are. Uh, I bought a luminous orange and a regular orange just to see which orange I need and I bought a dark earth and a dark green these are basically RAF brown and RAF green so that's why I got those so taking a look at one of these cubes um, they're pretty interesting uh, one of the things that Aqua are boasting is that these could be hand brushed and they dry level really, really well. And from some of the experiences that I've seen, or examples I've seen, um, that certainly seems to be the point. This seems to be quite true. But one of the other things that they're boasting here is that you can mix this with just regular water and airbrush it. So you can use it as a thinner. They also do in include a thinner. I'm going to try using water. And uh, if I like the paints enough, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to buy the thinner and test it out with the thinner later on. So that'll be in a month or two. But I'm going to definitely try this out, and I hope I like these paints enough that I want to buy a whole bunch of them. So this is pretty cool how these things open up. So we've got this line right here, and we've got this line down here. So what we're supposed to do here is cut sides, like so. Okay. Let's open this up here. So now we twist, and up, there we go. Cool, so we've got a little painting tray, and there's a little notch right here, a little tab that fits into here. Look at that, not that great. That's pretty fantastic. So I'm gonna do something that I do with all my paints whenever I get them, and that is I always stir them up before I use them. Usually, if it's a paint that I use regularly, like black or silver or something like that, usually I can shake them up. But if it's a first time use, it's always better to stir them. So it's a bit thick. I'm really hoping there's a couple things that could be wrong with these paints here. Uh, one is they might be older, because I don't know how long they've been on the shelf from the store. They may not have survived the trip properly. So I hope not. I really hope that these things uh, survived the, the the flight. So I'm gonna go ahead here. I'm gonna pause the video and let's open up the rest of the colors here. You can see some bubbles, which is a bit odd, but I'm gonna blame that on the um, on the thickness of the paint, which. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. So let's open the rest of these paints and have a look. All right, guys. So here we have all the paints. Um, I do have some things to talk about with these. So here's the orange. Now this orange looks pretty nice. It's about the same consistency there that you saw me when I was mixing the blue. However, this orange looks like the exact color that I have been looking for. The luminous orange is fluorescent. There's no way to get around it. It is fluorescent. I actually have fluorescent Mr. Hobby color. And, uh, yeah, they're almost identical. So it's kind of funny. Um, a lot of problems, I'm sorry to say, with my fluorescent orange here. Um, there are, like, 
I can feel them, but I'm trying to pick them up. There, we, look at that. That's a big clump of dried paint, and it was all around the edge here too. So I'm not impressed with that. However, the paint doesn't seem to be too bad. Doesn't seem to be that bad. You can also see on the lid, there's a lot of dried up bits on there. The REF green, the dark green, is by far the nicest of all the paints that I've got here. It's um, it's a bit stiff again, um, but it's it's by far the, the, the least stressed out as far as being kind of thick. The worst one here is the brown. It is, ugh, it's like a paste. I don't know if I can thin this to use and it had a it's having a very hard time you can see some bits of a uh, darker brown in there kind of a red color um, it's having a very hard time mixing so I'm not too impressed with that I think this one's gone bad on me and on the front of the box it says 2014 revel I'm hoping these are not from 2014 um, and unfortunately the blue Suffering this sort of the same fate not as bad as the brown, but very close I'm very disappointed with that because I really need that blue um, So that's that's really all I can say as far as this test goes it's These two are doing really well the the brown or the green and the orange. They're doing really well this one's almost dead and These two are very very thick so I don't know if I can use any of them. I'm going to give them a try. I'm going to give them a fair try. Again, there might be a problem with this. They might be old paint, and they may not have really survived the trip over to Canada from the UK. Something might have happened along the way. They got cold. They got who knows what. Um, could even have happened in the store before I got them. Who knows what the conditions are like in the store where these are. So let's go ahead. I'm going to flip these around here and I'm going to give these colors a try. Alright guys, I've got a spare piece of styrene here and what I'm going to be looking at is the coverage of just painting down, see how you know one coat goes over the white here and I want to in particular test how well water can clean it off of the brush here. So let's try orange this is probably the one I'm most curious about. It's actually why I bought all the paints was for the orange. And you know what? One coat is actually doing a lot. Wow. That is fantastic. That is fantastic coverage. Nice gloss in there. You can see some brush strokes, but I'm betting after a second layer, it almost doesn't even need one. Wow. That's really, really nice. That's a brilliant orange. I'm very excited to, to give that a go here. So let's try cleaning it. Let's just see how... Whoa. Wow, that cleaned itself off really, really well, actually. That, uh, yeah, that came out, that came out better than, like, Tamiya acrylics, which is what I normally use. Hmm, I'm very impressed with that. Alright, let's try this fluorescent, or luminous orange, as they want to call it. Ooh, this is a bit thin. It likes, to, it likes to cling to edges, I've noticed. Hmm. My apologies if I'm not in the frame totally here. Very, very thin. Yeah, it's not quite doing it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be blaming that on the, um, on the paint because I, I, like I said before, I think that this one's gone bad. I really, really do. 
Let's try this green that I'm very, very curious about. Look at that. That's beautiful. It just, that applies itself just so well. You can see the brush strokes in there, but they're not too bad. Wondering if they're gonna, uh, let me get rid of the excess paint here. Let me try. Very nice. These are very, very nice. All right, on to the brown. Which I'm nervous about after, especially after seeing how the uh, orange turned out there. Let's give it a go. There's only one way to find out. Ooh, ugh, I can't even get my brush in it. Ugh, it's like dipping it in glue, like white glue. Despite its consistency, it actually applied itself really well. And so I'm at least I'm at least pleased about that. But man, it's drying like right away. Like there's nothing to it. Maybe it's not a great idea to have all these open at the same time. Alright, let's try the blue. No, the blue's fine, okay. Ooh, the blue's a bit... a bit transparent. That's okay, I'm like, I'm not judging these on... you know, if they're like a one-hit wonder type thing where it's like, oh, I only have to apply one layer. Because usually you have to apply two, sometimes three layers to get a good coat. I'm just seeing how it does in one. So, you can see it's pretty, it's a bit translucent there. You can see some of the white coming through there. And I want to give the fluorescent orange another go here. So I'm going to pause that. I'm going to come back and try these colors out one more time. See if I can get them to work. Okay, so one of the first things that I decided to do here in the second layer was to shake up the paints, stir them up again. I thought maybe maybe I didn't quite stir them up properly and that wasn't you know right for the test. Um, starting off here with the orange, stir that up. Fine, there's nothing wrong with the orange. The fluorescent or luminous orange, I did run into problems with because when I stirred it up, all that old paint came up again. So I actually picked out all the old paint, and I actually have about less than half, or no, sorry, more than half of the paint that uh, is gone. So taking out all those clumps, it's gone. Uh, after that, however, I was able to stir it up really, really well, and it's actually applied better. So I'm going to show you guys here. Here's the second sample. It's still transparent, but I think that's just the na the nature of the of the of the color here. Works a lot better though. So I was, I, although I did lose quite a bit of the paint doing the test, I was able to actually save the, the actual paint. So I'm pretty excited about that. Second coat of the uh, regular orange though, beautiful shade. Um, glossy, yes, there's gloss, but it's not high gloss. It's not a very high gloss. I'm interested to test this out airbrushing it to see maybe that would change it or not. Maybe I'd be able to get a really, really nice shine out of that. As far as hand brushing it, it, it is there. It's definitely there, but it's not as reflective, shiny as you would like. But it's still very good. The green here, which is by far the best of all the paints that I have, uh, second coat was perfect. Beautiful, beautiful layer. And so it's already basically dry, and I just painted this like five minutes ago. It's great. Let's talk about the brown, guys. The brown is shot. I'm pretty sure that this brown is dead. It is... 
it is like the consistency of carpenter's glue um, and when I tried to paint it on it basically it, it did apply well but it started drying almost instantly as soon as the paint hit the hit the hit the um, uh, styrene here I put it down and it would just dry and I, I'd, I'd kind of be pulling it along and, and it would be crumbling up a bit I hate to say it but I think I might have to toss this one it's just not a good paint it's not working well the blue is unfortunately suffering sort of a similar problem not as bad though it, it it's still it's still going to be very usable um, and this is something I should mention I forgot to mention this about the brown um, I stirred it up and you can see there's a bits of swirls in here of a red brown color I can't get those to combine at all so I when I was stirring it there were bubbles coming up one bubble I'm not kidding you was half of the size of the opening here and uh, it just popped and pulled down again I put the cap back on and when I came back I noticed that the cap had lifted so there's gases in here that were lifting the cap up and I didn't appreciate that because you don't want your paint to dry out on its own when you need it that's a bit frustrating and these are good caps like these aren't these aren't you know really kind of cheap caps they they're on there pretty darn tight so whatever gas and pressure is in here was pushing that up is quite impressive in a lot of respects the blue I was able to get a second coat on and uh, the first coat wasn't that great second coat beautiful 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 blue it's a, it's a terrific sheen to it there I'm really really happy with this color it's a Lufthansa blue perfect absolutely perfect spot on as far as I'm concerned so that's how the paints go guys these uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the brown I'm very very concerned about the brown I'm gonna go put the caps back on so I don't dry these paints out and I'm gonna give you a final wrap up of these paints here Okay, everybody, these are the Revel Aqua Colors. As far as acrylic paint goes, I like them a lot. I really do. Without having done a lot of testing on them, without having run them through, uh, run them through an airbrush yet, I like them an awful lot so far. Um, in particular, I want to get these for my dad. He wants to get back into modeling, but he doesn't want to use enamels anymore. He wants to use acrylic but he's not he's not really happy with hand brushing acrylics I think for sure he would be very happy with these Revel aqua colors I really really do looking at the sample here that I've made up I think this orange could possibly be the exact orange I set out to look for it's almost perfect it's almost perfect I have to go test it in direct sunlight but I think I found the orange that I need for an upcoming project so I'm super happy about that I'm going to run airbrushing with these two colors with the blue and the orange okay I've got a project that I'm gonna try them out on it's the Revel F4U-4 Corsair here so you can see obviously it's gonna be painted all the blue but I think I'm going to paint the band here as well, simply because you guys know me. They, they do include it as a decal, but that's not for me personally. Um, if I can, I'll paint that type of stuff on here. So I'm going to test them out on this. I'm going to test out airbrushing them with the water. Uh, of, course I'm going to, of course I'm not going to try it directly on the model first. I'm going to try it on a small sample, but I'll, I'll definitely do a video of that when it comes up to it. You'll see that, okay? So... That will happen. I'm going to try these out. I'm going to see if the water works. I might spring for the um, airbrushing solution if it doesn't work out as well. Um, what do they call it? Hold on a second. They call it... One more page over. Um, I think it's this one here, Revel Color Mix. Yeah, Revel, 
Rebel Color Mix right there. So I'm gonna go search around and try and find myself a bottle of that. But as you can see here, there are a lot of these paints. There's quite a few of them. And I'm, I'm more than curious to give these a go, if provided they work. If these work, if these work out as nicely as I hope, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to buy a bunch of them. That's all there is to it. If I really like them enough, I'm going to go full out. And I'm going to give these to my dad to try. Now, I do have reservations about them because I don't know what went wrong with this, with this brown. But it is a, not, it's a bad paint. I want to contact the seller. Maybe I can get a replacement. The blue will work, but I've got to be careful with it. Um, all the other colors, these three, they're all they're all good. Uh, I'm disappointed with the luminous orange, however, you know that. Um, you know, I, what can I do? I can't open the paint, stir it up, and go, yes, I'll buy this one. Uh, you know, it just doesn't happen that way. But um, as far as they go, I like them. I really, really like them. I think that they cover nice. I think two layers of just painting it on and hand brushing them looks pretty good it's not airbrush quality but then again I was not playing around with thinning the paints um, you know thinning them previous to painting them I wasn't doing any of that stuff so I was just testing them straight out of the bottle so I should get rid of that uh, mentality right now and if I like them enough I'm gonna do more tests with them I'm gonna try and see what they're like to hand brush I'm gonna see just just more and more how they react so this is just the first video of that for now but as far as I'm concerned I'm very I'm very satisfied with them I like them an awful lot so if you see these Revel aqua paints and you want to give them a go definitely do it give them a try because I like them a lot so far so far that opinion could change I hope not <laughs> but anyways thanks for watching guys this has been quite a long video hope you've enjoyed this and if you have any experiences with Revel Aqua Paints, anything that I or any other viewers should be out should watch out for, or anything that is a is a help, any of your experiences with airbrushing these, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear them. In all honesty, so leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is Revel's of Cloud Nine, and I'll see you all later.